Well, afternoon, folks. I do hope you're all well this fine Sunday. I really do. Weekend coming to an end. Hope you're making the most of it. I was reading earlier today, if you heard about it, Friday night, there's been mutiny on the streets of Great Britain. Oh, honestly, mutiny on the streets. They said there's been over 3,000 takeaway delivery drivers on strike between the hours of 5pm and 10pm on Friday night. There's pictures of them there in Brighton and also in London. Loads of them on their old mopeds there, all on strike. Nobody's been getting the food, people have been going short. Yes, they're complaining that the, the hourly rates they're on is horrendous. And after reading further into the, the piece, I think it probably is. Because no doubt these uh, these people that are having the um, putting the apps online that you're using, they're earning a lot more than the uh, the drivers are being paid. I think the drivers are saying, on average, they're getting about £2.60 for every two and a half mile delivery that they do. But they're saying that might seem a lot to you. It's absolutely nothing when you put in how much you can do, how many deliveries you can do per hour. It's horrendous. They say you get a two and a half, mile delivery and you've got to be bombing here there and everywhere to make it pay they said really you've got to cheat you've got to be driving through red lights and so on and so forth he said and the amount of people that have come close to getting injured cutting in and out of cars we can't tell you there's going to be deaths on the road soon he said if you're willing to break the law you can make a living he said but if you're not and you do it by the book and you stop at red lights and whatever else you don't break speed limits he said you'll go poor he said, so no wonder people are striking. But anyway, there's pictures there, as I say, in Brighton and Leeds. There's uh, loads of convoys of them on strike. And there's actually been pitch battles. They've been battling with the drivers that aren't going out on strike, supporting them. And they're trying to say, look, we're doing this for you. There's been food everywhere. They've been throwing food all over the place that's supposed to be delivered. As I say, pitch battles, the lot, it's all kicking off. Um, but surely it's the, the fault of these, uh, these people that build the apps, that put them into these restaurants. Um, you don't mind them taking their cut obviously they're going to have to have a cut because they built the apps and put the infrastructure in but I think they're taking much 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 more than they should uh, to the expense of the delivery drivers who to be honest with you I do feel sorry for so if on Friday night you were waiting for a delivery between 5 and 10 there's every chance you may not have got it and I would imagine there's lots more to follow so I think from the delivery front it's going to get a bit airy over the next few months I think more people should go out there and get a book and learn how to cook I think that's probably the way forward.